He says he was attacked with a liquid that smelled like bleach and burned his left eye. An Orthodox Jewish rabbi who blogs about sex abuse thinks he's paying a price for an unpopular verdict. Rabbi, Rabbi Mary Murphy, no, 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 can you just tell us what happened? We told you can't be up here. Did I, did I not tell you you cannot be up here? I gave, you strict, I there, I I gave you strict instructions. You cannot be up this ramp. I'm trying to find out what happened. The hospital police weren't happy to see us, but Rabbi Nakam Rosenberg, who emerged wearing scrubs from Woodhall Medical Center, did ultimately tell PIX11 that he was attacked by another Hasidic man with some kind of clear liquid about noontime today. And I saw him holding a glass. I thought it was coffee or something. So he takes the, the thing and he throws it in my face. You can see I'm burned here. The eyes, everything. Rosenberg has been blogging about sexual abuse in the Hasidic community of Williamsburg a long time and claims several years ago he was shot with a BB gun. This is a wound. I don't know if it's a bullet wound or right something. In right, you, you see a, a hole here. Now, a day after this prominent Satmar Hasidic man, Nakemia Weberman, was convicted on 59 criminal counts for molesting a 12 year old girl over three years, Rosenberg said he too has been assaulted. This morning, people were not being nice to you, right? What did they do? Well, everybody that went by, most of the people would spit on the floor. And then there was a woman going with a seven-year-old child, and she spits in my face. The rabbi said he was walking past this liquor store on Roebling Street around 12 noon when another Hasidic man came across the street from the fish store and spilled on his face something that appeared to be bleach. This liquor store owner told us he witnessed the attack. He came over and just... Uh, put bleach in the guy's face, you know. I think it was bleach, I'm not sure. Clusters of Hasidic men were buzzing on the street, but most did not want to talk to us, except this man who was snapping our photos. Did you hear anything about Rabbi Rosenberg getting yes, bleach thrown in his face? I did hear that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about that? It's unfortunate somebody did that. Do you know why they did it? I can assume why. Rosenberg told detectives who seized his clothing for evidence his attacker is the son of the fish store owner. After Weberman's conviction, Rabbi Rosenberg wrote on his blog and hotline the fish store owner would be the next person arrested by police. The owner was not in the store when we arrived there today. I must speak English. Rosenberg says he won't back down and simply hopes that the vision will get better in his left eye. Reporting from Woodhall Medical Center, I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.